What's up, everybody? It's John, John Sports House coming into the brand new video. Hey, it's Throwback Thursday time. Throwback Thursday. Hey, what's this in front of us? We've got a really cool product here. This is purchased, this was purchased from Baseball Card Exchange. Uh, it's not an authenticated box, but it's, I know it's unopened. Uh, look at the cards, they haven't been touched since 1986. What is this box? This is called a vending box. If you're not familiar with what a vending box is, these boxes will get shipped out to places that had tops, baseball card, vending machines. I wasn't even aware of this. I saw, I've seen these boxes before over the years. I didn't really understand what they were for. Then I started doing some research on them. And they're actually pretty affordable as far as purchasing old cards. Instead of buying a wax box, you can buy a vending box. Now, some of them are sealed. Uh, some of them are not. They have 500 cards inside here. These look to like they have not been touched. How would this work? Well, uh, whoever worked for, you know, worked for whoever had the vending, tops vending machines would uh, unload these boxes. They'd stack up the cards somehow in the machine and then close it. And then, you know, kids would come. They put a, like five cents in, 10 cents. I don't know how much it costs. Turn the knob and boom, a card comes out. It might have been multiple cards. I'm not sure. But uh, this is what the vending machines look like. So, so that gives you a pretty good idea of what the vending machines look like. They're pretty cool. I've never seen these before. I don't remember these growing up. Um, I never saw these in, in Pittsburgh, where I'm, where I'm from. Um, maybe they were in your area. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's get into this uh, box here. Now, the only concern I had was this is not sealed, but you can see here this is kind of torn. So this is a little bit disappointing because baseball card change, change has been great. But um, that was disappointing, seeing that the thing was broken there, which means the cards are probably going to be slightly damaged at that end. So let's pull this over here. Let me get these, some of these cards out. We'll start looking through here. Now, these are random cards. Um, we're not going to find any of the, obviously, the, the traded, the traded uh, set cards in here. Um, but we're looking to make sure these are all in pristine condition and they look pretty good. Now, the problem with these cards are the edges. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get some chipping on them because of the black on the top, but... We're going to check these out. Now, there's a long list of cards that are pretty valuable in this general set here from 1986. And you can check out that list online on PSA, uh, PSACard.com. That's the other card grader that, that uh, is out there. It's Beckett and PSA. Those are the two main ones. And if you type, if you go look at the price list, you can see the, uh, the list of all of the cards for this year. And there's a lot of them. Those are obviously prices for once they get graded. And um, yes, yeah, so you can check that out and see which one. So you can see this chipping right here. Here's this Claudel Washington. This corner is really, really bad. So, and the bad down here. So these were the ones near the end of the box. So they probably got banged. Let's just go through these and find out uh, who we have in here. The big names. Go through them pretty fast. Um, it's Terry Francona. It's kind of cool. There's a lot of rookies in here too. Dave Stewart was in the Phillies. Doug DeSensei's Dennis Lamp. Brett Saberhagen. Second year card for him. Glenn Wilson. Ken Dixon. Don Sutton. Fred Lynn. Former Boston Red Sox player. Checklist. Jerry Mumphrey. Steve Sachs. He's going every which way. We flipping them around. Here we go. There's a couple in a row. Lee Mazzilli. Razor Shines. That's a really cool name. Montreal Expo. So here, Rebe. The cards are in really good condition. Just those ones in the on the corners. There's really no chipping on a lot of these. <clears throat> so that's excellent. We're looking at some really big names in here. Ryan Schmidt, nothing major yet, but still cool that I'm getting these because, uh, to be honest with you, um, 85 and 86 are a couple of years that I don't have a lot of for some reason. I think I was in high school, and you know, I was kind of interested in cards still, but I was, you know, I was in a uh, in a band, I was playing sports, a lacrosse team, and soccer, and all kinds of stuff, and I really wasn't uh, doing the card thing as 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 much as I was, you know, years prior to that when I was younger. Julio Franco. 
Here we are, is Mike Schmidt. This is one of them. Looks gonna be pretty good centering. This card is pretty, pretty crisp. That's nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little frog in my throat here. Stu Cleburne. I don't know who that is. I never heard of him. Rob Deere. He had some power back in the day. I don't call it every single name. Well, I'm not going to call it every single name. We'll be here all night. Sparky Anderson. Dwight Evans. Sexto Lescano. <clears throat> Raleigh Fingers. It's a nice card. Bruce Keeson, I forgot he was in the Red Sox, from Pittsburgh Pirates right there. Dickie Knowles, Willie Randolph, Ozzy Virgil, Frank Pastore. Now, I purchased this for $7 from Baseball Card Exchange, so it's definitely worth it. Let's just see if we get some more good cards out of this. This is a really poorly centered car. Mike Lacoste, wow. Top to bottom, not so good. Charlie Lebrand, Rob Piccolo. Lance Parrish, Bruce Bochy, manager for the San Francisco Giants. This is one of the this is one of the worst cards <clears throat> of all time. <clears throat> Sorry, oh excuse me. Um, Lee Tunnel from Pittsburgh Pirate pitcher, and uh, yeah, I think it's just the look on his face. I think this is made like the top list. One of his cards did. That might be one of them. Cyril Weaver. Got Mike Lacoste again. You're going to find some doubles in here. John Franco. Second year card. Mattingly would be nice to get out of this too. Julio Cruz. Juan Augusto. Luis Aguayo. Is that an excellent all-star card? John Tudor. Chet Lemon. Al Bumbry. Johnny Ray. Ed Vandenberg is a record break card film. Negro. Okay. This is going faster than I expected, which is fine. Because the last thing I wanted to be, do is be here all night doing this. So, Von Calderon. These are the ones. These were okay. I think the ones at the bottom of this pile were the ones that were in the corner. Probably all dinged up. Demeso Garcia. American League All Star. Leon Durham, Dennis Oil Cam Boy, Pete Rose is another one that's on the list. A little tiny ding there. Otherwise, not too bad. Pete Rose record breaker card. Check that one out too. Jeff Reardon, he was a really good closer for the Expos for a long time. Rod Carew, pretty decent shape. Here's Don Mattingly, awesome. Let's check that out. Uh, a little ding there in the corner, I don't know if you can see that. Very slight ding in there one too. This isn't as good as I want it, I'd like it to be, but we'll still put it aside. It's Dave Winfield, all-star card. Bill Wilcox and Mike Easler. So we're going to find Barry Bonds. We're going to find Bo Jackson in here at all because they're in the trade. It says Cal Ripken. Weird. I don't know what that is. It looks like I don't know if that's. Looks like it might be the photo itself. That's odd. Not too bad. George Brett All Star card. Harold Reynolds. Here's another one. Sorry, this is pretty bad. Top to bottom. It's still not a bad card. Steve, Kirk Gibson, pretty decent shape, Dan Quisenberry, McGeesler, Roger McDowell, Dale Murphy, Harold Reynolds again, the centering is better on this, this one, not too bad, Definitely worth seven dollars. There's no doubt about that. All right, let's get to this rest of this pile. We'll finish the other ones up. Okay. Vince Coleman, record breaker card. Steve Carlton, way out center. Put that one aside though. 
That's a name there, buddy. Beyond Kalala. <laughs> Dwight Gooden, Ricker Card, RJ Reynolds, Scott Sanderson, Keith Hernandez. Boy, we've been around for a long time at that point. Look at those years there. Slugging percentage average. I mean, I think they had three. Was it 301, 3, 301, 361? Lane is terrible. So, apologize for that. Not being able to read that 100%. Gary Templeton, Lamar Hoyt, Don Assey. <laughs> Willie Upshaw. This is funny. We had this card. I don't think it's this year. It's maybe the year before or after. No, the year after, I'm thinking. We found it, and I should probably pull it out and show everybody at some point. We found something wrote, like, I don't, maybe it is his autograph, but it was in pen. It's so horrific. They must have signed, got, a, got it signed, um, you know, after batting practice or something. Maybe they held it on their hand. Just, it looks like a person did, a kid did, or he actually signed it, but it was just a poor signature. It's pretty bad. Rusty Staub, Le Grand Orange. Kenta Colby. Jerry Hairston. Kurt Bavakwa, Atlee Hamaker, Kevin Bass, Scott McGregor, Odile McDowell, Sean Dunstan, I'm not sure if that, I don't think that's his rookie card, Kurt Young, Tim Burke, Marlon Martinez, Bobby Brown, Randy St. Clair, Denny Walling, Roy Thomas, Bill Buckner. Look at his eyebrows. Like two caterpillars on his on his forehead. <laughs> okay, these are the ones maybe that were dinged up pretty bad at the bottom here. Yeah, you can see that right there. This must have been the corner of the box. That is a little bit disappointing because Baseball Card Exchange has been awesome. <clears throat> and all their product is, uh, is authenticated. Um... We bought an NBA basketball box which I have to do uh, a break on from, uh, I think it's 89 and um, NBA Hoops box. And that is not authenticated, but I know that the packs are never messed with, so we're going to get some good things out of that. Um, it's something like this. Here's Wade Boggs. Pretty good shape there. Something like this that, you know, you're expecting, okay, this is going to be good. And you get in the box is a little bit busted. That's a little disappointing. But other than that, I love the, I love the, uh, the product that they sell there. We bought this and we bought some other really cool cards I'm going to do another video for, a special video for in the next few days. There's Ryan Sammer, by the way. Um, Pete Vukovic, look at that mullet. Yes, Pete Vukovic and his crazy mullet. Apparently he was a crazy, crazy player too. Very temperamental from what I understand. Gedman. Okay. Zane Smith, Carney Lansford. Steve Kemp. So bad years of the Pittsburgh Pirates, boy. George Foster, Brett Butler. He was pretty good. Now Oliver, Bob Welch. Yeah, these are the bad ones. I can feel them, feel the corners, and they're not good. Nolan Ryan. Of course, that would be there at the one of one of the ones we needed. And we can see that's really badly dinged up there. That's disappointing. That's one of the cards I was looking for. We don't have. Okay. Ron Guidry. Mario Soto. Eddie Milner. Speedster for the Reds. Dean Billardello. Glenn Davis. Get some power back in the day. Dale Barra. Yogi Berra's son. Tim Wallach, All-Star Car, Bob Shirley, Bob Horner, totally warped, bent, beat up. That's one of the ones that was on the, must have been the corner where you can see that. That's pretty bad. Still okay. Can't beat that. Now, these ones are pretty good. These are the ones that were in the middle or near the other end here. Bruce Suter. Alan Trammell. There's like really no chipping on these two. This is great. That's one thing I will say that's, that's good about this. No major chipping. 
Alfredo Griffin, Jerry Don Gleaton, Chris Spire, Mo Gullickson, Jose De Leon, Dave Winfield. Not too bad. Mickey Hatcher, Ozzy Guillon. That's a rookie now. Pedro Guerrero. Pretty good shape there. Another Jared Don Gleaton. Alan Ash. We got, I don't think we've gotten too many doubles, too. A couple here and there from what I'm telling. Or what I can see here. Archer Craig, manager card. Manager card for the Mariners. Chuck Cotier. Dave Henderson, Lee Smith. Okay. Dan Dreesen. Rick Cerrone, Gary Maddox, Randy Hunt, Billy Martin, all star manager car. That's pretty cool. He's a famous car as a player. Giving people the bird in the picture. He's on the Tigers. It's a famous car. I don't want to own that. I'd love to have that. Here's one bad Claude Washington was Mookie Wilson, another Bill Adello, Manny Trio, Juan Beniquez, Willie McGee, Rick Gross. We've got a um, Got the uh, Rose insert card there. Bob Shirley again. El Pardo, Phil Bradley, Dave Schmidt, George Bell, All Star cars, Steve Buscelli, Fernando Valenzuela. I don't know if he's in the list of the cards we needed. Pete Rose again. Jack Morris. Keith Fernandez, El Pardo again. John McNamara, UL Washington. Gary Renicky, turn back the clock. We have this card uh, from 81. It's Fernando Valenzuela. Steve Buscelli, Larry Sheets, Tim Raines. Not too bad. Okay. One of these rose inserts is, is valuable too, I believe. Maybe the first card is Padres Lears, the first Lears card I've seen. Jim Morrison. It's Keith Hernandez with his helmet flying off. <clears throat> John McNamara, these cards feel really crisp. Yes. Play sample. Tom Seaver, turn back the clock. Dave Palmer, Willie McGee. Another sheet, Steve Henderson, Mike Boddicker. Blue Jays leaders, Tigers leaders. Mike Fitzgerald, record breaker cards with Fernando, Billy Sample. No, nope, it's the Pete, another Pete Rose insert. White Sox leaders, Gladden, Saber Hagen All Star, Steve Henderson. Reggie Jackson. <clears throat> this is on the PSA list. This one's in really good shape. That's good. Twins leaders, Cardinals leaders, David Lopes, Guerrero All Star, Boddicker again, Reds leaders. Okay, here are all the leaders because I must have stuck them in the middle. Rangers leaders, Steve Alboni, Record Breaker, Tony Perez, Cesar Cedeno, Forsh, Bob Boone, Dodgers leaders. Royals, Andre Dawson. Not too bad, Mike Scott. Mariners leaders, Astros leaders. The checklist, Bob, Pat Clements, Danny Heap, Mike Socha, Expos leaders, Mets leaders, Buddy Bell, Dick Williams manager, Cardi Concepcion. Giants, Yan Yankees, leaders, Mike Marshall. That's odd. A little dirt or something weird in the car there. Jeff Leitai. Leite. John Candelaria. Ozzy Smith. Not bad. Pretty crisp. Pete Rose, number two card. I'll have to go through and look at the list again. Another checklist. Phil Necro. Or Joe Necro, sorry. Tim Water. Juan Samuel. Gutierrez. Rick Shue. Tony Gwynn. There's one. That looks like it's in pretty decent shape, too. Awesome. He's on the list. Toby here. Joel Youngblood. Larry McWilliams. Bobby Gritch, Chris Chambliss, Donnie Hill, Jim Gott, Cecil Cooper, near the end of his career, Danny Martinez, but Black, 
Glenn Hubbard, Mike Flanagan, Mario Duncan, Tim Tuffle, Dennis Eckersley. These are the Cubs. Looks like a pretty crisp card there. Juan de Jesus, Lou Whitaker, sweet Lou Whitaker. Gina Petrelli, Jesse Barfield, Tim Flannery, Jeff Reardon, Jose Cruz, Frank Viola, Poorly Center, Dickie Thon. Okay, last little pile. We're done. The Throwback Thursday. This is definitely fun. I love these cards. You know, the opening of the wax packs are cool too, but this was something different I wanted to try out. <clears throat> we got a lot of cards I was looking for in this big pile right here. So here you go. Um, the only thing one that was disappointing was the Ryan one. It was kind of banged up. Maybe we'll get lucky and get one more. Presley Rod Scurry, rest in peace. Greg Pryor, Darren Dalton, rest in peace. P. Rose, I think that's our second one. A little dinged up in the corner right there. And that, not too bad. John Tudor, Junior Ortiz. Nick Asaski, Milt Thompson, Greg Nettles, Don Schultz, Brian Fisher, Jim Wynn, Lloyd Mosby, Brian Little, Joaquin Andahar. He was a really good pitcher. For a while, Jared Kuzman. This must have been near the end of his career. Look at this. Look how many years he pitched for the Mets, Twins, White Sox, and the Phillies. This might have been his last year, dear Jerry Kuzman. He's a really good pitcher for a long, long time. Look up his stats. You'll be amazed. Okay, last pile. Sammy Khalifa. Dave Parker. Tim Wallach. El Nipper, Terry Leach. Mickey Tennelton. Tony Perez. Terry Poole. Salvatura. Tommy John, this must have been in there. His look at his stats. Wow. Indians, White Sox, Dodgers, Yankees, Angels, then the A's. He must have, this must have been near his end too. Tommy John. The famous Tommy John surgery, which I think they even they even I think they actually put that on here. Let me see. I think it's right here on disable list. That's when he maybe maybe he had that surgery then, and that's when it all started. The Tommy John surgery for people. Jerry Royce, Bill Allman, Rick Aguilera, Jason Thompson, Robin Yautz. Really poorly centered card. And that's in pretty decent shape. Okay, oh, Roger Clemens. He's another one on the list. It's his third year card. Pretty good shape. Okay. Let's do a quick recap at the end of which ones I pulled out of here. Now I'll look through the list. There's another Bill Buckner. Look at the PSA list and see if there's anybody I missed. Yeah, go check it out. PSACard.com, I believe, is their website. There's a price list. Um, Howard Johnson, Moose Haas. Uh, there's a price list um, they, they have on their website. And um, there's all the different um, sports. And then you can look through that and you can see how, how these uh, how the value of these cards once they're graded. If they're a PSA 10, 9, 8, whatever, and it goes all the way down, I think they're one, some of them. And so I look at that more than I do Beckett. Because I think they're a little more um, a little more on, on par with things. It's Roger Clemens, Robin Yount, Pete Rose, Dennis Eckersley, Tony Gwynn, Ozzy Smith, Andre Dawson, Reggie Jackson. Tim Raines, Jack Morris, a little uh, kind of rubbing, rubbing action there going on. Some good Fernando Valenzuela, Billy Martin, Lee Smith, Pedro Guerrero, Dave Winfield, Alan Trammell, Bruce Souter, Nolan Ryan. There was disappointed this ding in the corner here. That was kind of sad to see that, but we'll live. Ryan Sandberg, Wade Boggs, Keith Hernandez, Steve Carlton, Harold Reynolds, Kirk Gibson, another Harold Reynolds, Cal Ripken. Don Manley, Rod Carew, the record break card for Rose. I don't know if that's in the list or not. Uh, Pete Rose, that's pretty good. Raleigh Fingers, Dwight Evans, Mike Schmidt, and Terry Francona. I, just, I think it's his rookie. No, it's not his rookie. He's like fifth-year card. So that goes in there. Good coach, a good player. There you go, folks. That is it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed uh, this, this kind of break of a 1986 
Topps baseball cards from the vending box right here. Pretty cool. And um, yeah, it was lots and lots of fun. A lot faster than opening up a million, million wax packs. The cards are in all, most of them in pretty good shape here. Uh, can't complain. The only complaint I have is just this box being kind of a little, little uh, busted there on the, on the side. But still, the cards are, are in really good shape. They haven't been touched. You know, what is that? Uh, what are we talking about? 33 years later, and they still haven't been touched. So that was awesome to be able to go through these and get these awesome cards. And we'll look at them a little bit closer. And we'll double check the list on PSA. And we'll check this pile out to make sure I didn't miss anything. And that is it, folks. Hey, if you're not subscribing, you like what you see here. Please hit the uh, subscribe button. It's very simple. It takes one second. Boom. There you're done. Thank you. Uh, our subscribers are growing. We're at 340, I believe. It's slowly edging up to 400, which is awesome. We've got a contest coming up. We keep talking about it. i got to make the video. And we got the product picked out. I'm not going to reveal what it is, but we'll do a video in the next you know, days. So look out for that for our giveaway. And then, um, hey, remember, if you like this video, like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. We'd love the thumbs up. And then share the video, too, if you'd like to share this with your friends. And um, and then if you have any comments, please put those below. Let me hear your thoughts on the vending box. It was worth doing this or wax packs. So I personally like this because of the, the, the uh, being able to go through it fast. So the wax packs are cool, but then they kind of you get slowed down a little bit with stuff. And uh, remember, we're an eBay store. Um, and you can check out that link below in the description. Hey, this is it for tonight, folks. Thanks for watching Throwback Thursday. This is John John Sports Card signing off. We'll see you all soon.